Hello everybody and welcome back to round 4.4. Holy crap, it's actually been... <laughs> I can't believe it's already round 4 of the Conquest Lunatic Relay. Um, I just got sent the file from Brainiac and um, from what I... You know, from what we've seen so far, Brainiac isn't really a malicious person, but I feel like a significant part of that is that the dude just never has any money to spend. But I see that I'm on Fuga's Wild Ride, so this should be extremely unfun. Uh... Please don't be that bad. Please don't be that bad. Alright, first of all, we have Ariel still in mid-ass priestess. 18 defense. Ugh. We have Niles here. He's been doing well. Uh, Hunter's bow. Iron bow plus two. Killer bow. Okay. Um, level six. 20 strength. 19 speed. That seems odd. Here we have Odin here. He's doing just fine. Uh, he has seal strength now because he's level nine. I don't know if that's like above or below average. He's 23 speed. God damn it. Uh, Leo still in own Mioji. Uh, let me just unequip this. See what he's like. What the fuck are we doing here? Wait, what? Wait. What? Oh my god, he gets it from stupid Shrine Maiden, so he doesn't even have access to- He doesn't even have access to magic plus two! This, this is so cursed. Camilla's just doing Camilla things. Um, Benny's here. He's level one general. I, I'm assuming he was used for chapter 19 then. Uh, what the f- What the f- Oh, somebody must have bought skills for Lasso. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. I was like, what in the world's going on with this Lasso? Yep, trash ass Ophelia. 23 magic, 17 skill, classic, classic. Uh, Xander's doing his damn thing. He's gotten one speed level up. Oh, I think he's gotten two speed levels up, actually. We have a silver sword. Why do we have a silver sword? The world may never know. Gazak is here. He, I don't think he's gotten any levels. Everybody has stuff unequipped. Uh, Gunter is here, and he has some cracked strength for some reason. Okay, that's actually kind of crazy. Forrest is here, he's just doing his thing. Uh, Perry, um, she has B rank swords, A rank lances, alright, I guess I'll get her the Brave Lance. Uh, Azura is Kinshi Knight, alright, I think I'm gonna try to get a Heart Soul to switch her back, because this is hell. What the fuck is going on with this? Okay, we have Jacob here, Selena, who's been trained a bit, but she's not been promoted. Charlotte, who's been promoted, but she's not been trained. Swordmaster Nyx with the Kodachi. Kaze with his... I promoted Kaze! I promoted Kaze! What's going on here? Uh, I'm just oh, I just didn't tired. promote him. I just capped him out. Okay, well, okay. That makes me feel a lot better, because I didn't actually promote him. Uh, I'm going to promote him, because he's cracked. Uh, other than that, we have level 15 Silas. Okay, um... This part is all kinds of fucked up. Everybody's just like exerting their will to absolutely all detriment. Odin, Camilla, B support. Sure, dude, whatever. Um, Odin has A rank swords. Okay, well, that's only a little bit more than D rank axes. Holy shit. C rank lances. That's quite impressive. We don't even have a heart seal to turn Azura back. Fuga's wild ride without a, without a flyer. I mean, without, without a singer. That's what they've given me. That's what they've given me. And you might say she's a flyer, but have you seen her stats? She's still made of paper. Well, first of all, I'm gonna save. Second of all, look I'm not what. a rapper, so stop rapping at me. Oh! No, uh, second of all, I'm gonna see what chapters we have. Please have something other than Fuzzle Wild Ride. Oh god. This is right after my finals, too, by the way. This is what the this is what they're putting me through. This is, this is not okay. Who does Charlotte have support with? Nyx? Oh, what the f- You guys are out of pocket for this one. I'm just gonna, not gonna lie. Well, at least Nyx is gonna be a good uh, swordmaster. Um, like, she's gonna have a good pair-up for Odin. That's gonna be one one way to use her. Because uh, this is hot trash. I You know what? I kind of don't want to skip this. Because, like, I feel like I would get so much clout if I didn't skip this map, right? Like, imagine the amount of clout that I would get using this scuffed team to be able to beat this map without skipping it. My main concern is just the lack of Master Seals. That's, like, the thing that I'm, like, the most worried about. I I'm gonna be honest, every time, like, from now on, let this be, let this be known. Anytime I see a silver or a steel weapon, I'm going to sell it. Like, I, I, I do not care. I'm going to sell it. This is where it's real shit. Like, it's really, this is where it's, like, really, really bad. Like, really, really really bad. Like, I don't think I can explain to you properly how bad this Azura is. Uh, we're gonna need Niles, because he's, like, relevant to the plot. I mean, to the plot, the, the, to the clear. Um, did they sell the Brave Weapons? They better not have sold the Brave Weapons. 
Why would you do that? Oh my god, you just sold the brave weapons. Something is seriously wrong with you guys. Ser you guys see a sick brave weapon and you go, Yeah, I'm just gonna sell that. Are you insane? Whoever did that, you're just a bad person. I just, I, 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 can't, I don't know what else to say. You're just a bad person. You bought, and then you bought a silver sword. I bet it was so, I bet it was so, wasn't it? I fucking bet it was that dude. Dude is always making the most insane inventory management decisions. And as usual, everybody in this group is completely unwilling to make forges. Like, I just don't understand. It takes like two minutes to go into the smithy, look at everything that can be forged, and then just forge it. I can't believe Brainiac and I decided we were going to do Perry Laszlo and he's been dragging his heels on this shit for two whole rounds. Like, dude, come on. Okay, we have two shitty staff users, so that should be the equivalent of, have, of having one actual staff user. I need the flyer, like, but you just have to deploy the flyer. Kaze can't be deployed because Marth didn't promote him. I can't believe they saddled me with the chapter with simultaneously the highest difficulty and the least decision making. Selling the brave weapons is just such a scumbag maneuver. Like, you really just have to hate your friends to do something as dickheadish as that. Like, can I just be frank? Like, why? Like, you just have to hate all your friends and family to do something like that. Oh, can't even. Can't. Still can't use the shining bow, by the way. Good unit, totally. Um. 19 strength. Take the regular ass bronze bow. I mean, getting into combat, anyways. Still has E rank staves, by the way. Really good idea. You know what? Fuck this. I, yeah, I'm, I, I've decided to make the executive decision to... I might just deadass sell the other seal, like, at this point, because... Well, I'm not going to, because next up is chapter 21, and, and that's going to be Seppi. Wait, no, that's going to be Sone, and Sone's probably going to do some action. so I might as well just... Yeah, I think I'm just going to buy the friendship seal, use it to reclass Horn back into Wyvern for this map, and then actually, like, maybe get some use out of her. Here's what you do. You go into Wyvern Lord, and then you just try to hit Rally Defense. Maybe you can actually use your corn for some support.
Alright, uh, I think I'm about done with preps. Um, yeah, this is this is extremely unepic. Alright, I'll just I guess I'll just go over the tonic situation. Um, the ones that this is the ones to point. I I was thinking about deploying Nyx for the Odin backpack, and then I realized that I mean she's obviously useless, so she can't be used in combat. But then I realized that Leo also gives speed to Odin, and also he gives magic to Odin. So he's basically just Nyx, but better because he can actually be used in combat. Um, and then for tonics, we have Corn has uh, HP, strength, uh, speed, and I think that's about it. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, Odin has HP, Strength, Magic, Speed, uh, Defense, and Res. Uh, Camilla has Strength, she has HP, Strength, Speed, and Defense. Oh no, she does not have Strength, she just has HP, Speed, and Defense. Lazo has Jack Shit. Uh, Xander has HP, Strength, Skill, Speed, Defense. Uh, Perry has HP, and then skill that's it because it's not like she needs anything else um niles is hp strength speed def uh hp strength and speed i think that's it actually uh leo has uh hp uh skill speed and defense Zach has hp skill speed luck defense uh azura has hp and strength charlotte has nothing baruka has i don't think she has anything yeah she has nothing either uh keaton has like basically every topic <laughs> Um, yeah, Keaton's gonna be my pet project on this map. I'm trying to get him enough levels to get him to level 20 and then not use him anymore. Um, I'm gonna be doing a shit ton of turtling. Yeah, I guess that's gonna be it. Um, okay, uh, alright. I don't really have much of a plan here, uh, except that I'm going to be running away at any sign of hostility at all. At all. So, the only plan that I have so far... Excuse me, game. Would you please mind not lagging? Okay, I think the lag is gone. So the only plan that I have so far is that this Omega Rally Laszlo is going to try to go here and do the thing that I did with Perry that one time where... Yeah. I think I can go Camilla here, give him the extra buff that he needs to get this job done. Yeah, the hit rates work out. Okay, uh, then we have this group to take care of. You know what would be really nice here? A, a, a dancer. I, can, I bet I'm going to be saying that quite a bit. Okay, this is the farthest in that we can go. Okay, I could, I could escort Leo in there. Question is how much? Okay, he has 22 res. This is a 36 attack. I could go here, and then move Perry in here, switch. I think I'm just gonna have Perry and Leo go do that thing that I was gonna have him do. You know what, I need to work on my sword rank, so. Okay, he's got the horse spirit. Niles basically is gonna be just like just running around everywhere. He's gonna he's gonna basically be taking pair ups from Azura and Camilla whenever like just switching between them whenever it's necessary. Um Gazak, so the whole okay, Gazak, Baruka, Keaton, Azura, Camilla, Niles are all like just gonna be pairing up with each other as is necessary, basically. He's been- he's getting Keaton level ups. Oh, nice Brynhildr proc. This dual strike EXP is nice for Perry because she's like supremely under level. God damn. Oh, I did not calculate for that. Yeah, I'm a bit stupid. Oh my god. Fine with having Zack take this kill. Uh... I'm gonna move Perry out of the way, and then I'm going to heal her with Leo. And then...
Cause, okay, the next the next area I would like to take over is either this island or this area here. But this area is really risky because there's these Kinshi Knights that could really like mess up your day if you like cross them. And also these guys are going to start moving down. So I would rather actually just stay out of their way if possible. Uh, Gazak's going to get moved up five towers. One, two, three, four, five. He should be fine. Uh, as for everybody else, I'm just going to like move them out of the way. Onto this island, if possible, because this is a good place to like centralize your forces. Um, hold up, let's go here. Oh, I can just do this. And then... Lazo can move over as well. Fuck it, rally, why not? Another place you can handle is like this area right here. But I would want to be really careful before doing that. Because I just don't want to like take any risks in this situation. Especially because Perry got her speed debuffed. Because of my uh, stupid play and not giving her a two range weapon. I think I go here, switch to Baruka, because then like she can just fly away. As for everybody else, like all the flyers, I'm just gonna move all the way down here so that they just get moved back to like where they were before, and everybody else, I'm gonna try to make it so that they just get pushed down onto like these tiles. Um, if these guys get moved up, they're gonna move onto here, and that's just not good. So I'm gonna do this. Okay, all the flyers are conglomerating. Alright, here we go. Now here's a turn with some actual action in it. Okay, so if I remember correctly, okay, Keaton's obviously the lowest level unit that I have. It's like quite literally just not possible for it to be anybody else. Uh, so if I send Laszlo here, well, I mean, I guess Laszlo is also really under leveled, but I can't really do much about that. Uh, 19 times 2 is 38. I go here, 22 times 2, that's a kill. So, here's the thing, right? Keaton is basically, like, going to get pushed onto this tile right here. Which is annoying. It's it's annoying to deal with. However, I think if I heal him... Because I don't think any of these guys have, um, Bolt Naginatas. Yeah, they have, like, Steel Naginatas and stuff. Which is uh, which is a little annoying to deal with, but it's, it's, it's not really, like, the end of the world. I think Leo's going to get to D-rank staves on this map, which is nice. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to capture this guy just so that we have an extra, like, good staffer. Because why the fuck not? And then... Perry's going to move out of the way. Um, I think I'm going to move her here so that she'll get pushed up onto that area. Uh, onto, like, this general area. I think I'm going to keep Xander here. Thank God for the Raider Axe. Yeah, I can do this. Oh, that did not kill. That's unfortunate. Well, I can do... I can kill with Corrin. That's nice. That's... Okay, and then I put Odin over here. So, I think that uh, Keaton's going to get pushed up, but uh, Leo's going to stay. I think that's how this works. Yes, Leo does stay. Um, as for these guys, kind of annoying, but if I equip the Beast Rune, I have 25 defense, these guys have 30 attack. Uh, I can just go here, and then Gazak will get pushed all the way down here. My main concern here is just to... Okay, I go here with the Beast Rune, I think. Because these guys are still going to want to attack me. There's no way they're not going to want to attack me. Um, I just don't think there's any like way that I double... Yeah, no. So I want to give him a strength backpack in that case. Well, okay, how much speed do these guys have? 25 speed? None of them have darting blow. Uh, and Azura is giving him 2 speed on para. So if I have 23, I, I go down to 21. So I need to be at least 20 speed. I need to have at least 20 speed. Well, Keaton's is going to give him 5 speed. So even if he has 17 speed without his para, uh, that's going to be 22 speed. So he's going to be fine on speed regardless. Wait, can he? Can he double? 23. He'd have to hit 28. Yeah, he can double, actually. That's kind of insane. Um, is 
see, my main concern here is that, like, I want to rally. Like, I, I want to rally with Laszlo, but that means that only two of these guys can attack me. Yeah, I think I'm fine with this situation. It's a little it's a little bit dicey, but it's not too much of an issue. I could also pop the Dragon Mane, move these guys, what, five tiles? But then, like, I don't really have an easy way to take care of them. Because I only have, like, two flyers in the area. So I go here. I rally. It's 23 defense. It's going 30 attack. Okay, I think I put... Uh, I think I put Niles here to rally skill to give him more hit. And then I move Xander and as Xander down here, I move Corn down like here. And then I put Camilla here and then I heal her with Leo. There we go, that's D-rank. Uh that that means it hold up. Well I, the, the convoy trade shit would just be really annoying. I'll just have Leo do it on his own time next turn. Skill, that's that's what you want to see. Okay. Everybody's getting moved up, so I gotta be careful about that. I might as well capture one of these guys. Okay. Speed, god. Well, if I do this, I can just run away with Camilla later. Okay. Why can't I see the staff? Oh my god. That's a crazy, that's a crazy, like, sabotage, by the way. The, 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 the not being able to see the staff, the staff range, uh, changing your UI so you can't see the staff range. That's a crazy sabotage. Actually, I actually have a lot of respect for that. I think I would just rather give this kill to Azura. Because she can run away. That's the thing. She can run away from these engagements. When's her speed coming back to normal? Oh, it's coming back to normal next turn. Okay. I could get this kill, pair her up. Niall's gonna get moved here. Azura's gonna get moved 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and she can just run away. Camilla's gonna get moved 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and she can just run away. Um, Leo's getting moved up to here. <clears throat> Corn's getting moved up to whatever. I don't really care about that. Um, okay, here's the play. You go here, you do this, you convoy, you send that in, you grab the men staff, and then you heal up. Okay, um... And then now, like... I think that, like, when they get moved up, we can just run back, and then I go here, and then I... You could, like, theoretically get this kill, but I'm not going to give it to him, because that's... That's just too risky for me to just do that for no reason. Um, one, two, three, four, five. You get moved up to here, but one, two, three, four, five. You get moved up to here. Um, Xander could theoretically run away. This is a silence, so I could do that. I don't know, it just seems a bit spooky. Yeah, I think this is the play. Is there a way I can not kill you in one hit? Fuck. I think I'm gonna move my Corrin, like, here. Just in case, like, the, the Corrin needs to help next turn. You have a Sword Catcher, right? One of these guys has a Sword Catcher? Okay, um... I could kill you with Odin. Yeah, because Odin can take on... So, basically, if I leave anybody here at end of turn, they need to be able to handle... Um, they need to be able to handle flyers. And one of them is going to get hex and rotted. That's, that's, that's just a, like an inevitability of life. You just have to live with it. Um, so, yeah, I think I send... Okay, if I have Perry go here, she kills like this guy, right? She kills this guy with a lance. Um, I think I'd use the Effie's lance here just to kill, get the kill, and then I'll have her trade get get traded the the uh, killer lance. Um, and then I have because how much do you do to this dude? Eight. Wow, that's really bad. What the fuck am I gonna do about this? This, this doesn't seem like an impossible situation, like an like an 
unfigurable enigma to get out of, but it just sound, it just looks really, really annoying. Uh... Okay, I think step one is killing this person with the FE's Lance. If instead I go for this... Well, they have Axe Breaker, so I'd rather do this. I think I do this. You know, you do what you can, I guess. Um, and then you go here, you switch. Okay, I'm gonna switch to Baruka here so that we can move. Uh, I guess I can move Xander and Leo up here. Oh, they're all going for Odin because I don't, I guess because they can't. Kill him? Oh my god. Keen almost died. She got defense? This is some kind of this is some kind of like ARG or something. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Okay, we could actually do this. Um and then we'd get moved up to like here. That's fine, I think. Cause like, yeah, because the only like really long range enemies left are the Kinchis. Where did the other reinforcements come from? Oh, from over here. These guys are actually like Super bitch mate. Like, look at these guys. Steel Nine out of they have trample, which doesn't really matter to me. Uh, as long as I can double the these guys with Xander, then I'm fine. Um, or even Perry, because she has like she has she has also has good defense. I'm trying to think here. Uh well, okay, let's handle this area first. Uh step one, go here, dual club. I think this is gonna give him like HP plus five or gamble or something. Oh, here we go. HP plus five. This dude has another. Wait, what? He already used his hexing rod. Hexing rod has three uses. That's fucked up. Oh, this is perfect actually. Cause what I can do. Oh no, not quite. Cause like I, I was thinking I could have. Cause I want to have them. Cause I want to have Hayato hexing rod on Laszlo. Cause he's. It's fine if he gets if Laszlo gets hexing rod. That's like not much of an issue to me. But I don't think I can move around properly to make that work. Oh, this would, like, almost kill her. Because these guys have counter. Fuck it. We ball. I guess I can move Xander here. Take a shot at... Okay, well, that works too. That actually works pretty well. Um, I'm actually fine with doing this combat, even if neither of them hit. Because I think that still gives me weapon EXP. Yeah, I gotta make sure I don't get into that range. But other than that... Oh, that's gonna be a bit annoying, because these guys are gonna be able to attack Leo. Wait, no, no, no they're not. No, they're not. Uh, I guess I've celebrated a bit prematurely. Twenty-four? Wait, wait, wait. You've been seal strength. You have nine strength. Holy fuck. Twenty-four minus nineteen is five. Okay, you deal literally five damage a hit to Leo and you don't even double, and he doubles you back. Okay. Yeah, I was like, oh no, I'm really I'm in I'm in a pickle because because I don't know what to do. No, no, no. That you're literally bitch made. What? You went for Corin? In what world? Maybe Gazak can take these guys on. Because, okay, how much does Falconite give on pair? I think it's 3. Uh, and 22, 23, 24, 25, I just need to hit to 30 speed. Which is actually not that hard, all things considered. And I would ideally like to not be here, but instead be somewhere like here. Because otherwise I will get moved up further, and that's definitely not what I want. And Singer would be really nice here. Somebody that could give my units like another turn or something. That would be so, so heat. Okay, only one of those guys can hit him because he'll get a shield gauge before the second person can do anything.
Oh wow, that's very bad. I mean, they went for Xander, so... Can't be that much of an issue. Okay, if I can take out the the bottom of this pair up right here, then I can kill him with... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, uh... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He can freeze either of these guys, though I'm not sure about his hit rates. Yeah, okay, I think I go here, kill this guy, freeze the guy behind, have Korn kill this top guy, and then um, Azura can kill the guy. Yeah, 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 I think that's the play. Oof. Okay, see it. And then, Leo goes here. Okay, we freeze you. Your ass gets killed. Okay, do this. Left Gazak. They just go into Baruka. Even though like being on the on foot would make make me move further from the uh, wind, it's just better for me to be flying because then I can move away or towards whatever I need to move towards better. Okay, go here with Azura. Heal. Right away here. I could do this and then give Niles the kill. I'm either way I'm incentivized to move Niles in this direction because there's the chest here, which I obviously want to get. If Odin is able to take on two mages and Hayato, I can move him in here. The Calamity Gate guy is a bit of a problem, though. I'm really... You know what? We're on casual mode for a reason. Twelve seconds later... Yeah, that's that's about what I expected. <laughs> Alright, let me reset. Cause if I okay, so here's the thing, right? If I equip the if I equip the Rigento, um, it means that I'm Yeah, 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 because I think having the extra weapon triangle advantage against the Calamity Gate guy. Well, like, not having the weapon trial disadvantage, at least against the Calamity Gate guy, is very important to me. There we go. Motherfucker just doesn't know how to level speed. In this case, I, I, in this turn, I think I just, like, do all I can to make sure that, like, people kind of try, try to stay together. I'm gonna put these three together. Uh, these four together. These five together. So that, like, if things go bad, I can, like, have them help parry out. And if Xander gets moved up here, that's not much of an issue, because there's not really many enemies left. A 
Okay, I also need to... Okay, I basically need to turn on this, this. That's an enfeeble step. I can live with that. As long as I can kill Hayato, I don't really mind. Uh... Okay, I think, like, legitimately speaking, like, Perry's, like, the most... The, the best suited to take him out right now because she has... Um, she has a shield gauge ready. If, does anybody else have a shield gauge ready? No, not really. Uh, I think I stay... I keep Leo right here so that, like, when these guys get moved back down, we can, we can be fine with that. Uh... As for Niles, my goal with Niles is just, just get get him the hell out of the way. Uh, okay, uh, if I go... No, I, I, like, I, like, I, I, I would like to use Gazak, but, like, also, it's just not the right play here, I think. I just don't think it is. Good bulb I love so far. Here's what you can do. Okay, go here. Just chill. Okay. Who all is wounded? Okay, step. The Zak is wounded. After this? Well, nobody can really revenge kill this guy. Um, yeah, I could just go up here, kill one of these guys, and then let the other one... Yeah, I could do that. Seems like a good play. Oh no, the enfeeble person's gonna get me. That's tough. Uh, I think we also, aside from those two that were just healing, I think we move everybody like to the left. Okay, and then Camilla can get this kill now. It's a lot more reliable because she's also using, like, she's using a bronze weapon this time. Uh, uh, I think I have to do this and then pair up here and then move everybody else here. This guy's a duel. Okay, well, I can... Thankfully, I was prepared for this. So I can trade her a duel club. Okay. Okay, we have uh, quite a few threats to take care of here, but... I think we can do it. Yeah, yeah, we can we can definitely do it. I can move here and chip. 
And now I can kill with uh, Keaton. Huh. He really does need that uh, extra bit of attack, doesn't he? God damn it. Okay, well. I think I'm gonna move up here and attack this Kinchi with Siegfried first, because that, that Kinchi is a bit tough to reach for a bunch of our units. Good Xander. We do this. Niles takes care of one. Corrin can take care of one. Then Perry can take care of this guy. Just want to see. Oh, I should have used the sword to get more sword rank. I'm stupid. I'm big stupid. Okay, we move Camilla here. Because we do have 100 hit on this guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just need Camilla's help here. Yep. Alright, this is when I usually like to just chill out and like re reorganize my shit. Okay, um... Corin, like, close to here. Camilla close to here. Just just put, like, a bunch of units here. Uh. I don't think she's gonna die, but... I hope she die. I don't think she's gonna die. I just don't think it. I don't, just don't think it's... Yeah, the other guy is a magic weapon. Oh wait, no, the other guy also has a physical weapon, but then he gets a shield gauge, so we're fine. What? Well, okay, so the rules say I can just let people die, then they'll just come back. Kinda sucks to let Leo die, but also he got like a fuck ton of EXP, and he did, he did put in an insane amount of work that clear, so I'm willing to live with it. Well, okay, let's equip the killer lance. There we go. Kill this guy. Um, kill this guy. Level 20 Keaton. Love to see it. A lot of HP. I mean, that's just Keaton, but still... Still good to see. Um, can't actually move him all the way in. Laszlo, get back to Perry. Oh, this is not. Un this is really, really annoying, actually, because like. My uh, parry's gonna get moved down. Ah, uh, she's gonna get moved up again. That's fine. In that case. Uh. Fuga does have a secret book. I wonder if I can figure out, like, like, finagle enough time to use it. Bro, how does he not have enough strength? That's actually insane. I don't think I have anybody with rally strength here, because uh, Gazak is not high enough level for it. Yeah. Well, what if I? 
One, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Who has rally defense here? Somebody has rally defense. I know somebody does. Oh god, nobody does. That's not good. Go right here. This is pretty fine, actually, uh, all things considered. Um, I, that, I guess the only real issue is that Perry wasn't able to get moved up, which is annoying, but it's not really, like, something that I'm, like, too, too, too worried about. Oh, somebody just needs to chip her. Perfect. <laughs> He's so powerful. I love him. Okay, uh, then we have, yeah, we have to kill him alive, which is kind of tough. It's not impossible, but it's just, I, I think Gazaki is honestly our best boss killer. Either Gazaki or like Perry or somebody. No, he's gonna get moved down. That's really annoying. Well, we can have flyers here as much as we want, but because they'll just. once returned like that would move these guys uh if I, I'm trying to see if I can like do some nonsense here. But it's a sword catcher. I don't care about that guy. I kill this dude from here. I'm just gonna see, like, who would take care of the haunted person? Uh, so we have. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Then technically five, but I just don't know if that's worth trusting. just like run away. I think that's the optimal play here. Have everybody run away.
I'm just trying to see if there's just any way that I can get get Gazak anywhere. He has 21 speed right now, so he can't even double the damn boss. Uh, I'm just trying to think, cause cause if uh, so, if I switch to Baruka here, right, and then somebody takes from this, somebody takes from this, and then Gazak kills, but then like. I don't have somebody to seize with. Well, I guess I could just let everybody die. That's a that's a that's a viable strategy. So we are on casual mode, so No no no. You you have the second one be Camilla. Wait. Transfer. Wait. Transfer. Switch. Twenty-four times two. Yeah, this is the one you go for. Let's go, Gazak. You look so happy. To gamble. Don't get rid of the secret book, because I'll just try to give it to somebody if there's still people alive next turn. Come on. Yeah, yeah, Lazo's dead. Come on, yeah, I know people are dead. Okay. Switch. Trade, take the secret book, seize, and we're done. Let's go. Only took an hour and 13 minutes after my preps. Well, uh, that was chapter 20 done in 26 turns. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> if you did, please leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more. Um, man, that thing really just devolved into a shit show right at the end. I, I can't believe I was playing so well at the start, but then it just kept going down and down and down. Um... Next video should be on Sone's channel. Can't wait for him to kill off another green unit. I don't really know how you would even manage that at this point, but uh, I guess he could. He could if Azura and um, I'm sorry, if Perry and Laszlo are married, uh, have an S support. He could get the S support, let Soleil die on the paralog, and then and get a green unit killed that way. I don't really know how he's gonna work that into somebody else getting like a weapon rank up, but um, it's gonna be entertaining to see. Listen, Sone. You should try to promote one of Keaton or Kaze. Like, I, it would be fun, right? Like, even if, like, Kaze is the one that I want to promote, but even if you don't, like, I got Keaton at level 20, you might as well promote him. You could use him for some really goofy shit. Uh, anyways, <laughs> uh, if you guys did enjoy it, please leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.